In this episode, I'm going to create one drawer for all my pages in my Flutter application. I'll start by creating a drawer and then I'll add the drawer to the pages. So to get started, I'm going to go to the Flutter application which I just created. It's a simple application. Its root is a material app. It has a home page and one other page which is another page. Both these pages, if I scroll down, contain the same structure. It's a scaffold with an app bar, body, and a floating action button. So now that I'm ready, I'm going to create my drawer. The way I want to create my drawer is I want to use a live template. I'm going to start by typing STFUL, which brings up my live template list, and I'm going to select Stateful. This gives me the boilerplate for creating a stateful widget, and I'm going to name it my drawer. After I've named it my drawer, I'm going to replace the new container to new drawer. This will create a drawer as the stateful widget. Once I've created my drawer, I'm ready to instantiate it, and I'm going to go final, my drawer, underscore, for private, drawer, equals new, my drawer drawer. And this will instantiate my drawer and I'm going to provide it to my pages by going down to the pages. Once I'm down to the pages, I'll start by typing in drawer and then I'll add the underscore drawer and I'll copy this because I want to add it to the other page. Once I've added it to the other page, I'm ready to test it. So I'm going to hit hot reload. And there I go, Mr. Liney or hamburger icon showed up, but I'm gonna drag it instead of clicking on that. So I dragged on it and there's my drawer. Pretty cool. So now that I have my drawer created, I wanna add some items to it. So what I wanna do is go control space. It provides a list of the arguments that I could give it. And in this case, I'll say child is new list view. And once I'm created the list view, I want to give it some children. And these children will be a widget. And I'll define the list as such. Once I define the list of children, I want to first add new drawer header. You could add anything you want, but I'm going to add a drawer header. For the drawer header, I'm going to hit control space to give me the list of arguments that I could give it. And I'll say child is new text header. Something simple to show how this works. For the next child, I'll give it a new list tile. And for the leading widget, which is on the left of the list tile, leading widget, I'll say new icon. And I'll say icons dot Android, something cool. And for the title, which will be the middle widget or the center widget, for the title, I'll say new text another page. Once I've created that, I'll hit hot reload and test it. So there it is. I'm going to hit the Mr. Liney up there. And there I go. I have the header and another page. Well, I'm going to add a click to navigate to the other page. What will that look like? Well, I'll say on tap of this list tile, on tap, and I'll say there's a function instead of going to a method. And in this method, I want to say navigator of this context of context. And I want to pop it first so I can close the drawer. Then I'm going to push to the new route, push named, and then I'll say another page, which is a static constant dot route name. Let me just repeat this one more time. When I define the navigator, I want to close the drawer first by saying pop this route off the list and then I'll go to the new route. Okay, let me try that. Hot reload, hit Mr. Liney, and I'm going to click on another page. And there I go. I'm going to go back, click on another page. And in this case, I can do the same thing on the other page because it has the same drawer. Now, ideally, I may want to dynamically remove this from the list because I don't need to go into a recursive loop going to another page. But I wanted to show how to create a stateful widget, which is a drawer. 
and this drawer is instantiated and then passed to the drawer argument of the scaffold of each page. So this concludes this episode for today on creating a drawer for all my pages. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter and I'll catch you later.